Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It is Thanksgiving Eve and I'm so excited to be spending time with my mom and sister and they haven't seen Enchantment yet. So we're gonna have a little Magic Kingdom day, but before that, we're actually gonna be checking them in to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort for a little staycation and I'm just so excited. We're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. Disney's Grand Floridian Resort is such a beautiful resort and it's so awesome that we're gonna be spending Thanksgiving here. Like I never thought this was a possibility. The first time I ever brought my mom and sister to the Grand Floridian, it was during the holiday season and I brought them here just to show them the gingerbread house and the Christmas tree and my mom loved it and she wanted to stay here so bad. She just thought it was so elegant and beautiful. So I'm so happy that I've been able to actually make that happen for them and they're gonna stay here tonight. And here we are, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. Look, my mom's in here taking pictures already. <laughs> Did you snap a good picture? Look at that. Isn't that oh, gorgeous? fantastic. Oh, you did a great job. <laughs> oh, you got your <laughs> you got your scooter in the way. <laughs> The Grand Floridian during Christmas time is just so beautiful. You could just spend a whole day coming here in between the decorations, the gingerbread house. It is seriously just the perfect place for the holiday season. We're not even waiting to go to the room to unpack and we're gonna just hop in front of the Christmas tree to take a photo. Look at that. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? I love this tree so much because it has all of the uh, 12 days of Christmas on there. My mom just said this is gonna be our Christmas card, so we gotta make it good. We gotta make it good, everyone dress up. We're gonna be exploring around the Grand Floridian maybe a little bit later or tomorrow. Right now we wanna get all checked in, go to the room, check that out, and make our way over to Magic Kingdom. My mom and sister are gonna be staying in the new Mary Poppins rooms. And I'm so excited because it's the building right next to the main lobby. So they can just hop in and look at the gingerbread house and the Christmas tree all they want. It's literally one building here and then bada bing, bada boom. Doesn't it just look so clean in here and nice? Yes. It's beautiful and it's all Mary Poppins themed. You can see like the Mary Poppins artwork there. Look at that, welcome Morrow family. Look at that. Beautiful. And I like the rug too. Yes. This is very classy. This is it's very classy it is indeed. <laughs> A hair dryer. Is this where you do your makeup? Yeah. <laughs> Comes with the fancy Keurig. Look at that. Oh, look at all the Keurigs. Ooh. Ooh 50th look at anniversary. It. Wow. Ooh, you're gonna have to put those in your purse, Ma. Yes. Take those home. Oh, yes. Well, I'm only a decaf drinker. Oh, no decaf. Oh, man. Green tea. Well, you got down here, too. Oh, fridge. fridge, fancy. And a Dan buy. Look at Bonnie. <laughs> Look at Bonnie. Come on, crawl on out. Keep your head out here. Oh, that is too funny. This is how you know your family watches your videos. <laughs> Look at Bonnie down there. That cracks me up. <laughs> My mom said her favorite thing was the balcony and she can spend hours out there. So that's really cool. She always wanted to stay here at the Grand Florida and so I'm happy that we're making this happen, especially for the holiday. Thanksgiving at the Grand Floridian. I also love how we have the uh, Disney on demand on the TV in here. Look at that. It actually shows you the resort you're staying at, tells you the time, the date. I do miss uh, the old uh, resort TV. I do miss Stacy a lot, but it is cool that you get to basically watch Happily Ever After if you wanted to, just right there on demand. Previously recorded. <laughs> Oh, well, what are you using the little get ready area? Look at you, like a little princess. <laughs> I'll show you guys the outside balcony because it is a beautiful view. 
little lagoon style view. Let's see. It's like we're right on the water. Look at this. Very awesome. It'd be cool to watch the uh, electric water pageant. Got the Polynesian over there. Very, very pretty. Now we're gonna actually make our way over to the Magic Kingdom, but we're gonna be exploring around the Grand Floridian either later on or tomorrow, because tomorrow is gonna be our Thanksgiving video, and I can't wait to share with you guys our plans. It's gonna be a beautiful day, but tonight we gotta have some Magic Kingdom. We gotta have a Magic Kingdom kind of night. Time to make our way to the monorail, and yes, we will stop at Basin tomorrow to wash our hands. We gotta wash our hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we will. Maybe actually, when we get back, we'll wash our hands. <laughs> oh, the monorail's open till 2 a.m. tonight. Wow. Oh, that's because we have extra evening hours. That is amazing. Because we're staying at a deluxe Disney resort, the Magic Kingdom is open till 1 a.m. tonight. So we're gonna be able to stay to the park till 1 a.m. if we wanted to, and I love that. Oh, look at double monorail. Here we are, the Magic Kingdom. So excited for all the Christmas lights, the Christmas tree, a little bit of everything. And the train, I actually heard. I think it actually just went that way, but the train is back. So hopefully soon, I can't wait to ride the train. Looks like we're getting a little bit of rain, which is not too bad. I mean, I was expecting a little rain, but we want to get dinner at the Crystal Palace because my mom's favorite characters are Winnie the Pooh and they do a character dining there. So we're going to try to do that. And like I said, ride some rides, just enjoy a nice little day pre Thanksgiving at Magic Kingdom. Look at that. There it is. The train is back. I'm so excited seeing it pull into station. And with the Christmas lights on, that is awesome. I cannot wait to ride. I don't know when it's opening up again, but I'm excited. Now that we made it into the Magic Kingdom, I talked my mom into finally riding Splash Mountain, only because it is going away, so you're gonna have to do it before it's gone. And I'm excited. It's gonna be our first time riding Splash Mountain. Oh, you're not gonna get wet, wet. I mean, you might get a little like splash of water, but not like crazy. Yeah, Bonnie loves the ride. It's gonna be fun, and I'm excited. And it's a little cold out, so you'll need it. Because it is a holiday week, it is extremely busy here. Like Mickey Mouse, the meet and greet is 120 minutes. I have never seen it that long, even though it should be all the time because he is the boss. But wow, it is super busy today. I'm just loving the Christmas music, the wreaths, a little bit of everything. I think we're going this way to Frontierland. To the left. As most of you are aware, Splash Mountain is getting rethemed into a Princess and the Frog themed ride. And I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be awesome, especially with the music. But I do want my mom to ride the original one first. And then if she likes it, maybe she'll ride the new one. Don't forget, we got to stop at the Country Bear Jamboree. Yep. Good old hoot and hollering kind of time, you know? A very wooly good time. I'm about 60% sure my mom's gonna back out from riding Splash Mountain. I mean, she knows about the big drop. I think she's afraid of getting wet, but we'll see though. I'm rolling the dice. I mean, she's kind of leaning on like, yeah, let's do it. But then usually when we get up to the ride, that's when she's like, you guys do it on your own. She did it, she scanned in. We're doing it. Don't worry, mom. If you get soaking wet, I'll buy you a new shirt. 50 foot plunge ahead. <laughs> when you can't open up your mouth without a song popping right out of it, that's a zippity doo dah day. Zippity doo dah. So you never rode the ride, but you know the song. That's this one. Here we go. We got our own log. Here we go. She's doing it. She's doing it. We're in the burr patch. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That Look, drop? no, that's the big drop. That's the one at the end. Oh my God. 
You know this. I didn't say no. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not that big. It's only 50 feet. Only 50 feet. Oh my God. No. Oh, oh, I got a little wet there. Get ourselves a little critter elixir. Isn't this so nice up here, Mom? Yeah, it is. Well, there's a castle down that I'm worried about. Well, what comes up must go down. <laughs> Okay, here comes the first drop a little bit. Not a big one though, it's a little one. Okay. Are you hanging on? I'm hanging on. This is a little drop, slip and fall. Hang on. Just a little bit, just a little baby. Here we go. Hang on. How do you like it so far? It's nice, isn't it? Just a little nervous. Slip and falls got you nervous? Yeah. Ah, well wait till we get to the laughing place. <laughs> this is a drop, it's indoors. We're gonna go one and two, but we're gonna be sliding. Hang on, it's in the dark. It'll be over before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Enter at your own risk. Danger ahead. Watch out. Beware. Ooh. No. Uh oh. Here it is, Mom. The big drop. The 50 foot plunge. Everybody's got a laughing place. Maybe this one is yours. Don't be scared, Mom. You got this. Here we go. Look at the view of the castle before we drop down, though. Okay. Here we go. I tried covering you. <laughs> I tried covering you. I tried, I tried covering you. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you got a little bit more wet than normal. Yep, and now we're stuck in front of the waterfall. <laughs> My mom's got an important message to anyone that rides Splash Mountain. Do not open your mouth when you go down Splash Mountain. No. You got, she got a mouthful of water. A mouthful of bromine. Ooh. Welcome home! Yeah, I'm so glad to see you. Zippity-doo-dah, zippity-yay. Manuku feelings, wonderful day. Zippity doo da, zippity yay! My oh my, what a wonderful day! <laughs> that was incredible. I am so happy to be able to say I rode Splash Mountain with my mom. And honestly, she loved it. She honestly said she would ride it again, and I think it might be her favorite ride. Like, it's kind of crazy because she was so afraid of it, and that was her first time riding it, but now she really does love it. So I'm, I'm kind of intrigued if we can get her to do it again one more time before our trip ends because that's that's I, I I wasn't expecting that at all I'm gonna ask you a serious question mom is Splash Mountain your favorite ride now no it doesn't beat sore doesn't beat sore but is, is it up there is it's it up there you loved it gotta learn how to keep my mouth shut <laughs> you might get a, a mouthful of water oh, yep water. you know I know a guy who went around drinking the water too no <laughs>
<laughs> now we're gonna keep moving along. We got to do Splash Mountain, but now maybe we'll try doing the Jingle Cruise. My mom's never done that either. We're just we're just scratching off first time, right? First what else time. did mom not do here that she can do? Because she definitely can't do the wildest ride in the wilderness. No, nope. nope. oh, look at her. She's shaking her. She's like, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> I think we just discovered my mom has never done Pirates of the Caribbean before. I don't even know how we missed this, but like we were talking about it and I'm like, Ma, do you remember doing a ride with a big gigantic pirate ship? And she doesn't know, she doesn't remember, so I'm pretty sure we've never done it before. So I think we're gonna try for that. We were gonna do Pirates, but it was down for almost a whole day and it just opened back up. This is the Lightning Lane and it's posted over a hundred minute wait. Look at, it's full in there. so. I think we'll come back for it. I'm excited because I didn't even realize my mom has never done this. She's doing all the rides that you may get wet on and also all the rides she's never done before. We'll come back for Pirates and you get to see Johnny Depp. Yeah, fancy. It's great to have family here for the holidays, but I also feel bad because I want to show them like all the amazing things to do in the park. But right now it's like the worst time to come to the parks because it's just so overall like busy. The Jingle Cruise is at a 90 minute wait. Look at that. Holy moly. We got ourselves a return time for the Jingle Cruise. And because they don't allow wheelchairs or ECBs in the line, uh, it's not included in the DAS Pass. So like it's just a separate thing. We were just gonna go wait and ride because we do have a DAS Pass for Peter Pan later on. But this one they add on additionally and I had no idea. Like I was like, wow. So now I think we're just gonna make our way over to the Crystal Palace. Maybe get something to eat and then come back and ride all these rides. All right, we have made it to the Crystal Palace. And are you excited, Mom? I am very excited. Winnie the Pooh is in there, Tigger, Eeyore, Piglet, all of your favorites. And you've eaten here before, but it was not the buffet. Right. So you wanted to come back when the characters came back. Yep. And here we are. We're heading in. Look at actually all the Christmas decorations too. It looks really pretty in there. I'm excited. The Crystal Palace is an all-you-can-eat buffet, and it's a character buffet with Winnie the Pooh and friends, and it's $59 a person, and I think it's $39 for kids, it's like $38, but it's really good, my mom loves it here, they have all-you-can-eat prime rib on the buffet, tons of Walt Disney's recipes, and I like it a lot, you guys know I come here a lot, and uh, it's gonna be fun. Winnie the Pooh and friends invite you to indulge yourself in our bountiful buffet. The room comes alive with the sights and smells of the day's offerings being prepared in our live onstage kitchen. It's got pastas, baked breads, vegetable creations. What's a vegetable creation? Or is it chicken vegetable creation? I don't know. It seems fancy though. It's kind of funny because we're eating here tonight and this is one of the places I actually thought about bringing my mom for Thanksgiving but we have an even better spot for tomorrow for Thanksgiving that I'm so excited to share with you guys and I can't believe it's Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Black Friday is literally just another day away and also if you guys want any Roosevelt shirts because I'm wearing this Nightmare Before Christmas one they actually are doing a Black Friday sale and there's a link in my description with some of my favorite shirts and they're like 50% off so if you're a big Roosevelt's fan you got to hop on it because it's worth it here we go time for friendship day celebration <laughs> Hi. don't look now ma here comes piglet <laughs> <laughs> you excited? That's cool, huh? I gotta take a photo. <laughs> as soon as we sat down, Piglet came right over to the table. And I think Winnie the Pooh is coming right behind him, Mom. So this is like, it's like that. And I'm gonna show you guys the buffet and a little bit of food, but I've done a lot of dining reviews uh, here before in the past. So if you want to check those out, I'll put a link in the description. Now we're just going to kind of hang out and enjoy company with family, you know? We're at 
kitchen. That's awesome. You guys have the best shirts here. You have, yep. <laughs> did you wear that shirt on purpose? I did. But no, you didn't know. I, did. I mean, you wore it. No, you wore it because you. It was Christmas. Okay. But did you wear it because it went in the pool? <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving or Friendship Day. <laughs> yeah. Or Friendsgiving. No, oh, thanks, pal. <laughs> now that we got to see Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, uh, it gives us time to actually head up to the buffet before Tigger and Eeyore starts making their way around. Oh, hi, friends. We've got country fried chicken, one of Walt's favorite. Walt's mashed potatoes. Gotta love some Walt's mashed potatoes. Put them all on there. Then we've got Walt's green beans with bacon and onions. We've got cheesy broccoli, roasted marble potatoes. Then we've got the glazed rainbow carrots, smoked cheddar grits, shrimp creole, some rice. Then we've got some mahi mahi, spinach ravioli and then oven roasted chicken and sausage and peppers and then over here you have your au jus, Walt's favorite chili the chili is where it's at but the main event is the prime rib look at that that's the stuff right oh much too good I'll take a little bit of that coming right on in for the prime rib oh there we go cheers you guys are the best <laughs> nice Thank you. Look at that. Don't look now. There he is, Eeyore. Oh, mom, you gotta hurry up. You gotta get to your gloomy place. <laughs> look at that. Eeyore's your favorite. I love it. Thank you so much, Eeyore. I hope you have a better day. <laughs> Looks like the Friendship Day Parade is coming by right now. I also love this is like the only character dining where they have props. Oh, you can hear Tigger, can't you? <laughs> My mom, you're so funny. Your face. <laughs> I got some of Walt's famous mashed potatoes, some of his sausage and peppers, Walt's green beans and bacon, some au jus, and then also some of the prime rib, but I asked him to char it up a little bit for me. Give me a little bit of char on there, and it smells phenomenal. I love the food here. I think it's so good. Probably the best buffet food, I feel like. I mean, unless you had like a fancy palate, I call it, because then I would think Boma. Boma would be probably number one for me. The prime rib is just so good here. I love it. And I like it a little bit 50-50. A little bit of like a fatty part and everything like that. And then I let it sit in the au jus for a little bit. Bless and you. just let it... Au jus. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Mom, what are you thinking so far? You like it? Love it. Yep. And all you're doing, all you're missing is Tigger and he's coming over soon. I see him over there. Yeah. He'll make his way over here. He'll hop over here. After we get done eating here at the Crystal Palace, I think we're gonna head out and try to find a spot to watch Enchantment because it's my, like I said, mom and sister's first time seeing that. And we gotta do Pirates of the Caribbean. If there's one ride I want to do today, it's Pirates with my mom because she's never done it before, and I think she's missing out. I think. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Tigger's the only one that's getting hugs, I feel like. Or mom's hugging everyone, but Tigger was the only one that got hugged from you, Bon. Oh, all right. Gotta get a photo. Here we go. Let's get it all together here. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Time to roll out. We have to go see Enchantment. 8.15 the show starts tonight. Isn't it crazy? It's getting dark out at 5 o'clock. Fireworks are going off at 8. Night's just going by so fast. Show. 
it looks like the uh, handicap viewing area is already full so we're gonna have to go straight right on Main Street here hopefully it'll be good for my mom I don't know it's gonna be tough but we're just going they said we can go straight down so you gotta go down oh boy we are right in the middle of it this is a tough spot right next to the partner statue here holy moly I mean, it's probably going to be a good view of the castle up close, but once the, the fireworks end, it's like opening up the floodgates. Are you ready for that, Mom? Yep. Are you ready? You're prepared? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because this is going to be the first time I'm actually sitting and watching Enchantment after they changed the beginning part and added like Roy Disney and Walt and Mickey and everyone else, so I'm kind of excited. Oh. oh wow, it's very Tonight, foggy out. We gather in a most enchanted kingdom. You're up there. Couldn't even see the castle, the fireworks. Holy moly! But now we gotta try to get out of here. 
Just small steps, small steps. Oh boy. There's a lot of magic in this area right here. Well, this was actually pretty easy to get out of, yeah. except for that runaway stroller right there. Yeah. Whose stroller's that? Yeah. <laughs> it's a runaway stroller. <laughs> the question is, where's the kid? Where's the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We surprisingly made it out of there very quick and fast and I'm kind of shocked. So now we're going to make our way over and ride Pirates and then maybe on the way back do the Jingle Cruise. Knock out two rides my mom's never done before. I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I have brought my mom to the Magic Kingdom multiple times and I never took her on Pirates of the Caribbean. I feel like I had to have. Like, there's, why would I have not? Why would I have never taken you on this, mom? I don't think so, but wow. when we get in there, I will remember. My mom actually loves Johnny Depp because she used to love Benny and June. You remember Benny June, Benny and June, Mom? Yeah. She was obsessed. And did you like Edward Scissor's hands? Obsessed with that movie, too. No, I thought you were. You loved it. I remember watching that all the time growing up. <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. I feel like I need to go back and watch my videos to see whether or not my mom rode this ride or not. She can't remember. She's like, she's like 100% like, no, never rode this before. Bonnie says no. I guess, I mean, I failed. I don't know why. <laughs> look at that water there, mom. Doesn't it look so delicious? Ugh. <laughs> Dead man tell no tales. Strike your feathers, dearie. Show them your flock. Hey, send him hints to Davy Jones. It's the rum they want. What'd you think, Ma? I loved it. Yeah? It, and I think I've been at it before. Yeah? No, oh, I knew it. I was like, what kind of son would I have been? <laughs> now that we got Pirates done, we're going to head on over to the Jingle Cruise. And that one we definitely know she's never done because Bonnie's never done. And I don't think there's ever been a ride here at Disney my mom has done without my sister. Like, never. Like, I don't think it's even possible, actually. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. One bit, not one bit. Never been yelled at by a child before. Okay, we are clear. Uh, everybody wave goodbye to those nice skippers on the dock. Bye. Uh, wave goodbye to everyone waiting in line. Bye. Wait, I think I see my mom over there. <laughs> I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Well, welcome to the world famous Shingle Cruise. My name is Skipper Taylor. I'm going to be your skipper, tour guide, your ghost of Christmas past, present, future, your Grinch that stole Christmas, your cotton headed ninny muggins, uh, your childless millennial. Uh, and if you don't laugh at my jokes, I'll be your swimming instructor. But you can watch Pocahontas streaming now on Disney Plus. So, Synergy. Synergy. <laughs> uh, well, folks, in front of you behind me, I have this really exciting opportunity for you. We have a meet and greet with Frosty the Snowman. Okay, you guys ready? You ready? Oh, no. Okay. Um, well, Frosty's gone. Uh, it's been a warm winter. I know that's an inconvenient truth, but folks, we're not going to make this turn. We're not going to. Uh, we got that dino. You might have felt refreshing <laughs> mist on your 
That water is home to 200 different types of jungle bacteria. Uh, so when y'all get home, I'd see a doctor. You can take all the pictures that you want. Uh, they all have their trunks on. Uh, over here, this is Skippy, <laughs> the Indian elephant. You know, you may think that's water that's coming out of their trunks. It's snot. Uh, well, I'd like to point out a few of my favorite plants. I like that one. I like that one. I don't like that one. He knows what he did. Uh, I'll name them. That one's Nick. That one's Kevin. That one's Joe. They're together for a while, you know, pretty successful. One day Nick decided he's going to go off and do his own thing, get himself married. Now they're all back together again, uh, making some wonderful music together, yeah. That was a Jonas Brothers joke. Yeah. Oh, thank you for that pity applause. Thank you, yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you. Oh, you guys are too sweet. Watch your head, watch your step, use those handles. If you don't watch your head or step, please watch your language. Uh, this is a family attraction. The easiest way to get from the naughty list is by swearing. You guys really were cracking up on there. What a hoot. Honestly, he, he was just killing it. He was getting you with the one-liners left and right. I think we're going to make our way over to Tomorrowland now and ride Astro Orbiter. My sister's never rode that before, but before that, my mom's been eyeing up that popcorn bucket and I think we found one and she wants it, so we're going to grab ourselves a little popcorn. How do you turn the music on? Oh. Would you like your Oh, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Okay, apple pie. Thank you. Isn't that gorgeous? That is probably one of the nicest popcorn buckets I think I've ever seen. Yep. And the popcorn spins around too, yeah. so it looks like it's actually popping corn in there. <laughs> that is really cool. Look at the lid. Yeah, I like that a lot. Looks like the crowds are starting to die down and everyone's leaving. Yeah. yeah. Mom's just driving, eating her popcorn bucket. Look at what a life, look at you. <laughs> it's such a beautiful night to go on the Astro Orbiter. So it's gonna be nice to see all the views and look at Cinderella Castle. It's nice and breezy. I can't wait to let my hair down and just let it flow in the air. It's gonna be amazing. Honestly, look at that right there, Ma, the castle behind you. This is such a good photo. I have to take this real quick for you. That is beautiful. Bonnie's first time riding this. You're definitely scared or nervous? Uh, a little bit. It's so fun when you start, but it's actually when it ends. That's when all the G-force actually kicks in. I love this ride, though. It's definitely a cold night for being up there, too. And this is what I was talking about, Bon. See how it like goes by nice and slow? But watch when the descent happens. Now it starts going fast. Look at it. <laughs> how you doing, Bonnie? You ready? You ready? You can ship fly higher pull back on the control lever in front of you. To descend, just push the control lever forward. We're Thank going you. all the way up. Hi, Mom! <laughs> Look at this view. Isn't it nice? Let your hair out. Ah. Oh boy. Ooh. Shining at the end of every day. Ooh. Beautiful tomorrow. And tomorrow is just a dream away. Look at this. Uh oh, we're coming in hot. Here we go. Coming in hot. Please remain seated until your rocket ship stops and follow the arrows to the uh, Welcome back, pilot. Ooh. Welcome back, pilot. Please remain seated until your rocket comes to a complete stop. 
<laughs> the Astro Orbiter was a lot of fun. Bonnie really liked it a lot. My mom was waving at us. I thought my mom was gonna ride it for a second, but then she saw it actually spinning and she was like, no way. But Bob, what'd you think? You liked it? Yes. It was nice, it was, it was fun. Nice. Yes. We're, go we're going to the people mover, Ma? Is that where we're going next? Yeah. All right, to the right. All right, Mom, you ready for the people mover? Yep, Do you remember this ride? Yep, <laughs> Big steps. <laughs> I got your back. I got your back. The people mover is the perfect ride for people watching. Disembark. <laughs> this is a good way to close out the night here. Yeah. Isn't it? We'll come back to Magic Kingdom though. Look at us all here. Just people moving, doing people moving. You know how I'd be. I'd be pooping. <laughs> now it's time for Space Mountain. They turn the lights on and the people move her. Look at us. We're actually right underneath Space Mountain. Are you shocked? Yeah. <laughs> Take the time to see this show. Yeah, take your time. There you go. Easy peasy. And you don't even have to walk, you can just stand still until you get there. <laughs> big step, big step, big step. There we go. Woo! Oop. And with that, I think we are done here today. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I'm sure by the time you see this, it'll be Thanksgiving or maybe afterwards. And tomorrow we are gonna have a so we're gonna have an amazing fun day. We're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving here uh, around the Magic Kingdom loop and we're gonna have ourselves a nice special Thanksgiving Day dinner and just do a lot of fun activities and spend time together and be thankful. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome back to the Red Roof Inn. Oh, give it some gas. Whoa, hey, hey, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Thank you. I'm heading home, but my mom and sister are all tucked in in their room, and I'll be back in the morning, and we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving together. But I wanted to show you the Grand Floridian a little bit at night. It's actually very peaceful. Usually during the day, it's so chaotic in here. I should tell them they should come down and explore a little bit. Look at this. Beautiful.